Joining today from infectious disease specialists as strep, uh, infection continues to circulate, especially in children. Medical reporter Liz Bonus shares the early warning signs. Hey there, everybody. The CDC issued an advisory this week about a surge in strep throat cases in children, mainly between the ages of 5 and 15. They're mainly concerned about a rise in what's called invasive strep A. We haven't seen much of it the past few years due to kids being protected from the pandemic. So now the CDC simply wants parents to have kids seek medical attention, not just if they have strep throat, but rather if they don't recover from it. It's usually if you are improving from a virus and then you suddenly get much worse. The danger, according to the CDC, is that as this infection gets worse, it invades other parts of the body. So it can cause severe soft tissue infections like cellulitis or a, a terrible condition we call fasciitis. And it can also get in the bloodstream and spread uh, throughout the body in the blood or it can cause a severe pneumonia. CDC reports say COVID-19 and RSV or respiratory syncytial virus can make it easier for bacteria to be present in the nose or throat. This makes us vulnerable to it invading these other parts of the body. If you catch it early, penicillin and other antibiotics can treat invasive strep A. But sometimes patients also require surgery to drain abscesses or, or open up the tissue and let it drain externally because it can spread so quickly internally. For now, the CDC asking healthcare providers and parents to be on the lookout for early signs and symptoms in people of all ages. These may include fever, pain, swelling, and redness at a wound site, or early signs of toxic shock syndrome, which include dizziness, confusion, low blood pressure, rashes, and abdominal pain. One other note, Dr. Blatt says this is one more reason to get a flu shot or have your kids protected with a flu vaccine because, as he mentioned, the flu, one of those infections that can lead to secondary bacterial infections, including this strep A. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you.